Lisa with Lunamoth Creations and I have a box today. I actually have like three boxes so we'll see what I can get through today. Um, if you're new to my channel, hello, I'm Lisa. Welcome. Uh, on my channel I do witchy subscription unboxings as well as one amazing self-care subscription box and I also do tarot and oracle deck review uh, unboxings and reviews. So today, I have the Witch's Moon, and I'm very excited. I don't think that I've seen any spoilers, so that's really good. A lot of times when I'm getting on YouTube, when I first log in, they're like, hey, here's this, and I like accidentally see somebody opening something, and it's like really, <laughs> it hurts my heart. <laughs> Ugh. I don't want to know what's in here. All right, so here is our box. All right, how's my lighting, guys? Is it looking better? Move my camera around. Yay, I think it's better. Ooh. I think that... Whoop. Okay, let's see what we got here. My phone's ringing. Hold on. Sorry about that. My phone was ringing, but I got something in the mail. <laughs> so we're going to look at that in just a minute. This is something I've been waiting on for like two or three months. Anyways, all right, let's get back to the witch's moon. So there is that. And right off the top, we have an oracle card. There's the back of the card which I think is super cool. A little palmistry action going on. And then my card says, Beauty, I have a form which is divine. I allow what is within to shine. There is my card. Let's put it over here. All right. We'll take a look at the very beginning of this. Um, The what? The I have no idea what this says. What do you, what in the world does that say? Well, maybe I'll figure it out. All right, as so the very beginning. As we continue to work through magical processes and practices to strengthen our condition, excuse me, our connection with all that surrounds us, we knowingly begin to create a woven tapestry of energy, intention, and experience. This tapestry is the manifestation of all of our actions and efforts in a world where there is so much information competing for our attention. It is important that we harness these energies towards manifesting those things that we truly wish and yearn for. It is through this sacred practice do we truly utilize our magical abilities in this one-of-a-kind an exclusive collection, we provide unique tools to push your intentions through to realization, connecting with the sacred unknown and leaning into the magical teachings of our guides. It is important to always remember that your path is sacred to your individual self. We recommend taking the time to connect with the items in this box and use them in a way that feels correct to you. Every practitioner resonates with the different ideals and ways of performing ritual. Oh my God, I'm so like dehydrated. We do not take this work lightly and strive to provide the highest quality ritual items for you to use. Be sure to clear your space and cast your circle of protection before performing any type of ritual. All right, and then we won't read the rest of that until later. Um, and then this is a little, I guess a little incantation. It says, I wish upon. So there is that. Let me... Oh, my half of my lighting is way over there. Oh, well, I moved it when I left the room. Okay, it says through sparkling sight, through pure of might, I wish upon, oh, come to light, written in ink, loud and clear, allow my intentions to manifest appear. For within this wish, I place my heart with gifts of beauty, the clock now starts. I allow this wish to wonder absorbed by the unforeseen, I trust its message will be read, a shining starlit seed. 
through sparkling light, excuse me, through sparkling sight, through pure of might, I wish upon, O oh, come to light. So mo to be. And that's by G. Albus. So get over there. Oh, and as always, beautiful artwork. It says spirits of fate. Sorry, my, there we go. I won't read this whole thing. Um, trying to skim over it to see. Anyways, we'll learn more probably about this in a little bit. We got another artwork, yay! Uh, weave a wish, a desire or hope, wish for something to happen. All right, and then it says the art of weaving. So there is that. I love this artwork. I have them all like up over there on the wall. All right, so I open it up and we just have a bunch of things with the crinkle paper. Well, this is right on top. Oh, this is, um, this should be uh, like a red quartz. I have a, let's see if I can, I have a larger piece of this. I think it's on my windowsill. It's a cute little baby one. Although that doesn't really look like quartz the way that it's growing. Hmm. All right, we're gonna find out. Put that little baby there. Okay, I see some herbs. Let's get those. So we have black cohash. Cohash? Cohash? And then we have St. John's wort. And then we have blue cornflower. I feel like I needed this for something. I feel like this was on a spell that I wanted to do. Okay. And then we have our Beltane Blessings, Sacred Salts. There we go. Can you see? Uh, like calendula or something yellow there's like too many things in here I'm like I don't want to get the big things <laughs> I don't want to get the big things too soon What's that? okay let's get this this is our oil weaver magical anointing oil very nice. I don't know if you guys can see. Probably not. It's such a dark, but there's there's goodies in there. Mmm. Mmm. I wonder what that is. That smells good. Alright, what's next? What's next? Okay, let's get this. Oh, it's purple! Oh, speaking of purple, can you guys see that? Like, I got purple, like, infused in with my black. It's kind of hard to see. Um, I think you can see it there. Anyways, yay for purple. I mean, it's not, you can't see it that great. So that's a little disappointing, but it's still pretty cool. Anyways, all right, so we have our purple beeswax candle. Lay him over there. There's some neat things in here, and I just want to get it last. All right, and then we have our manifest incense sticks. All right, I was going to let me throw it on the floor. <clears throat> Matches are so fun. It's probably gonna burn that plastic. Ah! Watch me burn the house down during my video. <laughs> All right, so there's that. We'll find out what that fragrance is. It smells really good. Okay, I think there's two things left. 
and they look like big mammer jammers. Okay. Oh, it's a bowl. <gasps> Ooh. I always say that word wrong. Tri triquir triquirta. Can you see it? Cool. It's adorable. Okay, I don't know what's happening with this thing. What is this? Oh my god, I have like <laughs> tons of crinkly papers. Ten hours later. Okay. I'm almost done uncrinkling this. Oh my gosh. Okay. What is it? What is it? I don't know if I'm supposed to... I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. Am I supposed to undo this? Okay. Okay. Oh! Okay, so there's that. Oh my gosh, another thing for my boyfriend to hang. He's gonna love me so much. <laughs> I don't know where to put it. It's so pretty. We were just looking at some macrame stuff. We were at Earthbound yesterday. If you guys ever gone to Earthbound, it's kind of a, a spiritual store that's in the mall it's kind of commercialized but they still have some cool stuff there um but how fun is this guy and they anyways they had a bunch of macrame stuff there <gasps> wow okay maybe i could hang it back there no anyways fun this was a pretty great box y'all what okay and then I have to keep this over here so I can show you guys this. I'm so excited about this. Okay. So we have the hanging hand woven tapestry with teak intentions vessel. Oh, this is my intention vessel. Oh girl. Okay. As with all handcrafted items created with purpose and intention, braiding and weaving have been found within magical practices dating back to early paganism and many other ancient cultures. God, I need like something to drink. These practices can be found as a deep meditative practice and are known to push the creator into a trance-like state while weaving. It is said that during this process, you can accomplish astral travel, oh my God, meeting your guides and ancestors for advice on the pressing realities in your world. In our practices, we always work with as many handmade items as we are able, as we are able to due to their authenticity and ability to sustain specific energies. It is within these crafted items that we find a connection to our roots and a sense of inspiration for our current intentions. In this collection, you will find a hand-woven tapestry woven onto a firm teak branch. As you hang this above a windowsill near your sacred space, or simply place it where you feel it will be most effective, Take the time to run your fingers through the braids. As you do this, say aloud your intentions or simply take these moments to ponder about your intentions, working as hard as you can to visualize your wishes manifesting in the future. Work to hear, smell, feel, and experience these outcomes as if they are real. In addition to hanging tapestry, you will find a teak vessel carved with the symbol of the triquirtra. I, I think I'm saying it right, within the inside. Teak wood provides many auspicious energies and blessings. Its water energy has natural healing properties, stimulating pros prosperous, healthy growth and new opportunities. It generates stability, reduces stress, and increases mental awareness and clarity. Teak wood generally raises consciousness and harmonizes body and soul to new vibrations. The triquirtra, tri Queer tra has been a symbol dating back to as early as 500 BCE and was used by many cultures to represent the power of threes. The most common representation of the triquirtra comes from the Celts, Wiccans, and Neopagans. 
The three-form design symbolizes, among many other representations, the mother, maiden, and crone, as well as the sacred cycle of life. This ball has been carved and refined so that you can create a vessel of intentions filled with written mantras and visualized outcomes. Place tokens, sigils, stones, herbs, talismans, pictures, and any gestures that you find are relevant to your wishes. It is a vital... Phone's ringing. It is a vital that all it is vital that all of the items that are placed within the bowl are personal to you and carry with them deep meaning. If you feel so inclined, add painted symbols to the inside and outside of your bowl to enhance your magical intent. Once you have created your vessel to your intentions, simply place it within the cradle at the bottom of your tapestry. Oh, Like, put it, oh. oh. Let's see if I can do that, oh shit. Oh girl. Oh, look at that. Ermagerd. Oh, how cool is that shit? What? Oh my gosh. Okay. That's fabulous. All right. Where were we? Your vessel should easily find placement and should feel comfortable within the fabric. Explore hanging this piece in different areas of your space or simply hang where the moon can shine upon it during the night. Once placed, let it be. Allow these energies to wander into the different into the unknown universe, calling upon guides and spirits. Document this ritual within the Book of Shadows, revisiting your progress and experience after a full moon has passed. Oh, excuse me, full moon cycle has passed. We truly hope that this hanging tapestry and vessel support you on your path and provide you with a way to weave your intentions into a secure and powerful format. Oh my god, my phone will not leave me alone. That is so cool, right? All right, and then we've got to weave a wish um, Shadows artwork, um, and they just say that they're, um, they partnered with A.E. Alden, who, um, pretty much does all of their beautiful artwork, and then we have the hand-rolled to wish upon a, to wish upon spell candle. We have hand-rolled and, an, and anointed this candle with the intention of enhancing your intentions. We recommend dressing and preparing this candle to accompany you while you put together your intention vessel. I'm so excited to do this. This purple candle, I've got a day off tomorrow. I'm going to be doing all kinds of spells. The purple candle represents the soft but sure energies that are associated with magic and imbue a truly calm and supportive energy. Write your intentions down using the flame of this candle as your guiding light. Before you begin, be sure to create the energy that surrounds you in your altar. This can include cleaning, cleansing, and setting the tone. Each experience within your space should be planned with your ritual in mind. Because isn't today the new moon? What is today? I hurt my elbow. Oh, it was yesterday. Well, we're still close enough. Mm -hmm. We always recommend being comfortable within your space so that you may create the most accurate and authentic energy. We have used the oils of cinnamon and geranium in the process of rolling this spell candle. Da, 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 da. And then we've got our Wish Upon a Candle art print. Oh, yeah, it was this one. And this is um, written by G. Ibis and illustrated by A.E. Alvin. And then we have our Weaver Magical Anointing Oil. This guy. We have created this magical anointing oil with the intention of enhancing your ability to focus, excuse me, to stay focused on creating and crafting. With so many distractions and interruptions, it is vital that we continue to keep our attention on our true purpose. Allow this magical oil to assist you in staying dedicated to your craft and inspired by your experiences. While you work to create the beauty that surrounds you on your journey, it is important that you are not held back by other associations and judgments. 
allow this oil to assist you in maintaining freedom during your creative process. As you anoint your skin or magical tools, verbally express your specific intentions for doing so. This practice will prove to enhance the opportunity for real manifestation to occur. We have enchanted this magical oil with vanilla, almond, and clove oils, and have included lavender, dandelion leaf, and blue cornflower as well. Inside your oil, you'll find a Lumerian quartz, said to personify oneness within your aura. We have also included a special mixture of our Fond Focus magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery into the mixture. Then we have our black cohash, cohash, used within many types of love sachets, or sachet, uh, and protection spells. Black cohash is a wonderful and unique root to have available during rituals. In addition to its immense protective qualities, black cohash is known for its ability to place courage in the sacred, it, excuse me, in the scared and frantic, lessening anxiety and stress so that one may have clarity during rather difficult circumstances. Place black cohosh within your intention vessel to protect your intentions from miscommunication and unwanted energies. Magical attributes are love spells, courage, and protection. Awesome. And then we have our St. John's Wort, also known as Scare Devil Herb. <laughs> as St. John's Wort has been used by witches of old and new for the purpose of protection, ensuring happiness and strength resonates around you. Place this herb within your intention vessel or place under your pillow. You, there goes the dog. Use St. John's Wort to bring light into your house or sacred space, benefiting overall health of hearth. Ginger is masculine, planet sun, element of fire, deity is balder, and magical properties, health, protection, strength, love, divination, and happiness. Uh, blue, then we have our blue cornflower. I love blue cornflower. It's so beautiful. Bing. Okay, I lost my papers. Oh, I should have known what that, whatever. Okay, sorry, I just read something else. Blue cornflower is another wonderful herb to have in your, mag in your herbal cabinet. Blue cornflower is commonly used for psychic development and increasing effectiveness during divinatory practice. Carrying the essence of magic within its energies, blue cornflower is a wonderful herb to work with during your pursuit of spiritual knowledge. Elemental connection is earth, planetary connection, Venus. And this is aragonite. Okay. I should have actually known that. Um, it is not growing properly to be quartz. This beautiful and unique stone is a favorite of ours. Aragonite is a wonderful companion during times of overwhelming stress and anxiety. In addition to being a calm agent, aragonite can help in raising our ability to communicate on higher planes. Assisting you in formulating, it's gonna just do this, and formulating your intentions into a clear and precise format. Sorry, I just figured I could put it through the smoke here and start um, clearing it. And then we have our um, our incense manifest ritual incense. As you allow the wonderful vibrant floral scent from these incense sticks to wave through your sacred space. Allow its high vibrational energies to bring urgency to your intentions. The scent of patchouli can be found within its energy energies, promoting prosperity, abundance, and overall well-being. We recommend opening a window if possible to allow for ventilation. Beltane Blessings Celebratory Sacred Salt. It's here. Beltane is a Celtic celebration which marks the beginning of summer. Unlike agricultural societies, more concerned with seasonal sub subtleties, subtle subtleties, the Celts were a pastoral people and only observed two seasons, summer and winter. Beltane is a time to perform rituals promoting fertility. Large bonfires are lit at a sacred site, symbolizing purification and bringing blessings to hearth and herd. We have created this sacred salt to celebrate this sacred time of year. We have enchanted this sacred salt with jasmine, rose oils, as well as hawthorn marigold, that's what's in there, and rosemary herbs. We have also included a special mixture of our Beltane magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery in the making of the sacred salt. And then we have Spirits of Fate, Book of Shadows, 
art, which is this gorgeous piece. My camera's going to die soon. We are so thrilled to include this beautifully inspired Spirits of Fate Book of Shadows artwork within this collection. This wonderful reference artwork revisits the history of fate and the goddesses and spirits that held fate within their abilities. Placed within your Book of Shadows, and it's by A.E. Alden. And then we have our personal oracle reading, which is this one. We have meditated and selected a card from the Magical Spell Cards deck by Lucy Cavendish to place inside your box. This card and the symbols that are represented was meant for you. Take the time to reflect on the wisdom that it holds. Know that there is a specific reason we have you have received this card. Let it resonate with you and speak to the pressing realities in your world. All right, very good. That is it. What do you guys think of this box? I'm gonna hurry along because my camera's gonna die. <laughs> so if it just goes off, I'm sorry. Um, but I did want to show you guys this gorgeous where'd it go? thing that I bought. So this came from Greece. Um, it is an Etsy shop. And I will link the shop below just in case you guys, um, I'm having some hair issues here, just in case you guys like what I've got. I'm so thrilled to finally get this. Like I said, I ordered it like two to three months ago. It's, it's wrapped in a bunch of different things. Thank you, because this is going to be extremely important to me. Oh my god, I can't. <laughs> I'm never going to get it out. Here we go. Ta-da! It fits! I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this. Oh my god, it's going to fit so good that I can't get it off. Okay, well, it's staying on. <laughs> it says which. And it says it on both sides just in case it, like, gets moved around. But anyways, I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, this, um... This guy actually has so many really cool pieces of jewelry that he, um, that he hand forges. And so I'm so excited to get this. This ring is, um, going to be kind of the symbol is the symbol because I'm getting, um, initiated officially into my coven. So yay. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for stopping in. I really appreciate you. If you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, leave me a comment what you think of this uh, video, what you think of this box, and um, if you're not a current subscriber, I would love if you'd hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. If you are a current subscriber, thank you so much. I really appreciate you all. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye!